Good evening, uh, Roadside America peeps and long distance rider. Roadhog here. It's September 7th. Uh, I'm in Paducah, Kentucky, staying at a very nice Drury Inn. Uh, kind of expensive, but they have this whole social hour thing where you get like, quote, free, free drinks, but there's actually a dollar charge because the state of Kentucky doesn't allow free liquor. But, uh, and it's uh, generic liquor, like the bourbon they had was like Kentucky Tavern, and it comes out of a gun thing like you see at the restaurant and the bars uh and it's when you hit she hits that button it's like one shot so but you know it's free and then the whole thing was uh hors d'oeuvres it's not like some sort of bacon wrapped sausages or cheese cues toothpicky stuff i mean it's a full-blown like meal they had like mixed field green salad whole baked potatoes steamed vegetables um seasoned chicken strips so you could do a chicken salad thing or and they had pasta with like an alfredo sauce on so you could do the chicken without pasta alfredo and then they had a full um hot dog station big pot of chili uh tortilla chips and nacho cheese and then sliced jalapenos hey right up my alley and uh, I, uh the soda machine was all free they had a coffee thing going you know all kinds of coffee and stuff i mean it was from 5 30 until 7 it's like everybody's in there chowing down there wasn't much in the way of socializing though but there was it almost looked like back in the day when you were traveling and you see all these people traveling and there's all these tables with just a four top with one guy sitting at it and uh that would be me tonight too and i actually i, I thought about saying you know it's like hey want some company a little conversation or something but you know, today it gets kind of weird doing stuff like that. But, um, so, Drury, high end. I'm in a no-smoking room tonight, and uh, you smoke in here. It's a $250 charge to clean it. <laughs> so, but it's nice. Uh, staff's nice and all. So, anyway, it was a it was a good ride from Columbia, Missouri to here today. Uh, I left like 8, 9, and got here around 2, 3, and... Uh, it said five hours, but I don't know. It, but you know, I, I had to make several stops. I don't like to get below a half a, ga a half a tank of gas before I fill up. I stopped at the Illinois Visitor Center for a little man stop. <laughs> I think that was my first one. I went through downtown St. Louis. It wasn't really rush. I, I skipped the bypass. I went through downtown area because I thought I might be able to action cam the arch from going over the river, and I was in like some not heavy quasi heavy semi traffic you know but i think i got some some video of it but yeah the video is so sucky because uh i probably should put a piece of tape over the microphone to reduce the engine and wind noise because there's no external mic i can't even narrate or anything i probably have to learn how to do a voiceover but anyway uh so i got here and uh there are two roadside attractions here um well more than two but two that are relatively close where I am. Um, columns of a courthouse that was torn down. They saved the columns, moved them to a cemetery, put them in a semicircle, plaque thing, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's a cemetery. I had these horrible visions of the cemetery, the Almond Brothers in Macon, where it was undeveloped. I dropped my bike. And uh, so I was like, eh, no. And then um, the other one is um, a full-size reproduction of Thomas Jefferson's Monticello but again this whole area right by the interstate it's kind of the weirdest traffic pattern it's like a, it's not it's like a quasi roundabout <laughs> on the main road that goes under the interstate it's it's really strange but uh, uh, evidently the other way that it, it was before like the straight roads and stuff like that accumulated a very high death count for some reason and so they did this and the deaths fell off i guess it's because you can't go fast and furious on a straight road under the bridge or whatever but anyway so i'm here tonight tomorrow i'm making a push to marietta georgia which is supposed to be like about the same amount of time but it's almost 100 miles more um so we'll see how that works out if i can get there you know if i can get there before social hour that would be the best <laughs> because I want something to eat. But um, the trip has been uh, interesting. I, I, my my goal was to get to Fort Riley, which I did do, and I uh, I, I started doing it the way I said I was, camping and back roading. So between 
home and Fort Riley on the trip up was like 1900 miles and um, coming back taking straight interstates is uh, 1300 miles so there's an extra 600 miles I did there all back roading and uh, with the camping and stuff like that so you know I just come to the realization that God bless Scooter Tramp Scotty uh, Moto Giant and uh, Dirty Vagabond the rest of those guys who've been doing it for decades or whatever <clears throat> they're probably in a much better health and flexible than I am because I just cannot I could do the hammock thing but I can't hump in and out of a, a tent not a two man tent if I had a trailer like a uh, two wheels big life uh, trailer and they haul around this tent they can stand out there and it has cots and stuff I could probably do that too but can't can't do a trailer god bless them that they do but I mean I just can't imagine it's like I've always been a two wheel kind of guy plus where am I going to keep the trailer at the <laughs> At, at Craig and Carrie's place. I mean, my, my bike takes up most of the garage anyway. If I don't park it just right, they, you know, it's like you can hit the handlebars and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know they're, they're laughing too. So, uh, so anyway, I, I'm just getting old. I, I can't do the kind of things I did when I was 50, obviously, because that's when I was doing 700 miles a day from New Jersey down to Florida for Riley's birthday my granddaughter so I'm just going to have to out my goals and uh, and accept the fact that I'm getting old and I just can't do the kind of stuff that I used to do when I was young but I can still do stuff I mean I'm making this trip it didn't turn out to be as long as I thought it was going to be but I am doing it and uh, I am suffering a little bit from it <laughs> but uh, there are plenty of roadside attractions in Florida and plenty in the southern part of uh Alabama and Georgia I may have to just do like weekenders or uh, a week or something like that glamping in hotels and stuff certainly not uh, try to stay away from the Patel hotels <laughs> you know it the broken ice machine the threadbare towels the cigarette burns in the mattress or in the bedding and stuff it, that's all kind of like funny but you know what it would have all been negated if they would just have invited me into their house and have their supper because if there's one thing i do love it's indian food food and home cooked indian food would be like oh aces and eights for me man it's like oh oh because it, it smelled so good in the lobby a lot of people get turned off by those smells i just love that stuff so anyway so anyway i'm pushing to home because like uh Oz Museum, Wamigo, Kansas, Dorothy, click those heels three times, there's no place like home. And uh, I get back, do some reevaluating, and then, I don't know, I'm retired. I, I can do whatever I want, when I want. And uh, I like riding with my bike, and uh, I'm going to ride it. I just may not be able to crank out those kind of miles you know that other people do and some have done in the past but I'm going to do my best to do what I can with what I have and that's it so anyway on that note I will just say God bless good night and I'll um, see you on the next vlog